Hi Cancer, it's Joe from Angels and Ancestors, welcome to the channel and this is your What The Fuck reading, the 9th to the 16th of February 2020. Um, lovelies, this is a general reading, take what you can, leave the rest. Um, it may be something that's happened, happening or going to happen, it could be happening around you. Um, yeah, so it's a really general reading. Um, what else was I going to tell you? I wasn't going to tell you anything. It was Oh yeah, Mercury. I've been telling everybody about this. Mercury's in retrograde or is going into retrograde very soon. I think it's during this week. And um, I'm just kind of telling everybody, you know, if you don't do well in retrogrades, if you kind of get the feeling that things are going wrong, don't make any major decisions until it comes out of retrograde, which is going to be the beginning of March. Um... And just take it easy, guys. Just kind of like go with the flow um, if you can. I've already started to have things go a bit awry and it's only in shadow currently. So, um, yeah, there we have it. So, your what the fuck reading, your current situation, what started the what the fuck, you've got the wheel of the year. So your first aspect, facing the fears and taking your fucking power back, Cancer. Let's see what the cards have got to say about that. How's Cancer taking their fucking power back for the 9th to the 16th of Feb? Thank you. Okay. So your second aspect, what you've been manifesting, your wish fulfillment and why this may be fucked Cancer. movement your journey where the fuck you need to be cancer where does cancer need to be for the 9th to the 16th of february very nice cancer okay what the fuck you can do about the situation oh Another card for what the fuck pants can do about the situation. do about the situation i hate it when they fly it onto the floor what cancer can't do about the situation oh do you know what i'm going to take those because perhaps it's going to tell us a story cancer I don't normally like taking piles, but I just get the feeling they came out so loosely. So lovelies, um, don't give a fuck. We're reconnecting to the true you, Cancer. How is them Cancer going to reconnect to themselves and their true selves, their inner selves? For the 9th to the 16th of Feb. Thank you. Um... And then what the fuck is happening next? The outcome. I'm going to outcome card for cancer, please. What the fuck is happening next for cancer? Okay. Okay. 
Right, my lovelies, um, I'm just going to have a quick look at something because as I laid down that uh, wheel of the year, I had a bit of a, a download and I'm not even sure it's anything to do with the wheel of the year. Let me have a quick butchers at the description. Okay, yeah, I kind of got the feeling that you've been spinning the wheel um, in the hope that it's going to land somewhere and it's simply just a matter of luck. It, it, it's not definable. Whatever the situation is, you've not been able to define it. So you've been spinning the wheel in the hope that it's going to land. And when it doesn't land where you want it to, you've been spinning it again. Instead of just letting it settle and show you the way. So you need to... You need to let that wheel settle. You really do. It's got all the sabots around it. Um, it's got all the indications that everything could be really good and an upswing of good luck. But you have to learn that to keep spinning this damn wheel time and time and time again, out of the law of averages, you're not going to get that many hits about exactly what you want. And that's what I think you're kind of trying to do you're trying to get exactly what it is that you you want out of whatever this situation is and I've, i can't even see at the moment what i think it might be but cancer please stop spinning that wheel please let it settle and please see the pathway that is telling you that is going to bring you that luck that you want. It's going to bring you that outcome that you so desperately want and i'm getting that it is kind of like a desperate feeling that you so want something but it's not quite happening for you and it's kind of like you're you're scurrying away under a stone and then you're coming out spinning the wheel and it's not happening and you're going back again um i'm getting that you've buried your head in the sand as well oh cancer you do make me chuckle okay so my lovelies um your first aspect, facing your fears and taking your fucking power back. Lovelies, you've got the three of a thames. This is a lovely card. This is kind of like, it is walking away from something, but it's heading towards a new open door. Um, and all the possibilities that a new open door can bring. It's illuminated for you. You have a good source of water for healing and for sustenance. Um yeah it's just a, a nice card you have got your back on something there's no denying that but you know at the end of the day this is also a, with the a theme is this is air this is in your thought process so it could be a thought of moving towards an open door an inviting open door that has got endless possibilities for you and this is how you're managing to stand in your power this is how you're managing to keep yourself in the up and up rather than feeling very down about the situation of this wheel being spun and spun and spun um so yeah she's walking the path like i said let the wheel settle and let it show you the pathway you need to go and this door will open and you will be taking the fucking power back um, through the options that that door actually offers you so your wish fulfillment what you've been manifesting and why this may be fucked sweetheart you've got the harvest card now cancer with the harvest card that means that you've got abundance coming in something is coming towards you for full fruition this is seeds that you have sown over many seasons that is now coming back to you however the reason i kind of feel that it may be fucked is that you've sporadically spread these seeds and although you have got an abundance coming towards you i'm kind of getting that 
you may not be planning quite enough ahead to have another abundance later on down the road. So although you've got this abundance coming in, you really need to be thinking about your next crop, what, what else it is that you want out of this situation. Um, and don't be short-sighted in thinking that one abundance on one crop is going to be enough to sustain this situation. So your journey, my lovelies, I can't think you couldn't make this up, could you? <laughs> your journey, your movement, where the fuck you need to be, you've got the four of wands. This is celebrations. This is celebrations of a couple. They are also celebrating their crop coming in. Um, their apples and their pears are making their cider. Um, so this crop has come in. You could be dealing with a fire sign, cancer. Um, but this is definitely, this is happiness. This is, this is having everything you need to sustain yourself in every aspect. Um, it's a very balanced card, but it's definitely celebrations. And I kind of get the feeling that this is what you've kind of like been moving towards, but it hasn't quite happened. Now, what you can do about the situation, when I laid this down, I did laugh. This is another air sign. This is the Knight of Thames. And this is something coming in really fast, either towards you or you're sending it out. And when I laid this down, would you slow down? Would you, you can't do everything at 100 miles an hour. You really can't. You've got these thought processes and they're fleeting through your head so fast that even you can't remember the thoughts that you've just had. You need to take time to write them down or to process each thought as it comes to you. Now, this is bringing in messages or taking out messages. I'm clearly getting that this is not coming towards you. This is you sending out a message to um, somebody else. You're sending out a thought process. Something that's in your head will suddenly blurt out. It will go out a million miles an hour but you can slow it down. That's what you can do about this. It's telling you, don't be in such a bloody hurry. Really don't. Really, really don't be in a hurry. Now, what you can't do about the situation like this, and this could be that this is energy coming in from other people, because when I saw these three cards, I was like, oh, ouch. Somebody's trying to make you think the way they think. They're trying to force their opinions their thoughts, their feelings, processes onto you. This is not how you think and feel. This is somebody else's. So instead of using those athames to cut back, use those athames for protection. And in the, in the same pile, you have the nine of athames, which is, you don't know what to do. You're kind of a bit lost and... <laughs> you're upset about something or you're down about something you're definitely not seeing things very clearly and at the moment there's very little you can do about it because you've got this influence of another person that's around you that you kind of like you don't know whether you want to listen to them or not but i'm going to say don't fucking listen to them tell them to bugger off because they are upsetting literally the apple cart literally the apple cart there's apples on that table too, and that's what I'm getting. This, this energy is sending you into a bit of a bloody meltdown. It really is. And do you know something, lovelies? It's got you running to the hills. You've got the four of pentacles. Now, normally I would say this is holding uh, money or saving money for something, but I'm getting that this is you. This, this one at the back and this one in the middle are your energies. This person is causing you to feel like this and want to hide. You don't want to answer the door to them. You don't want to be around them. You kind of, I don't know if they're borrowing money from you or if it's just a thoughts process, but I'm kind of getting your hold up. You, you just don't want to deal with it. And right now, the cards are saying to you, you can't deal with this. This is not your energy. This is somebody else's energy. Stop spinning that wheel. Stop giving out fast messages. Um, let everything settle down because this door is opening for you. You've got these beautiful cards here. Absolutely beautiful cards. 
that's coming in towards you but right now this isn't your energy to deal with this is somebody else's energy and i get the feeling that if you told this person this energy could be a man or a woman to fuck off that you would clear the way but right now i don't think you can say the wood for the trees about exactly what it is that this person is trying to force onto you and it's making you go into hiding it's making you feel like you want to retreat and not open your door to anybody so lovelies don't give a fuck the reconnecting to the true you is the ten of cauldrons and this my lovelies is a completion card this is things getting better. This is things sorting themselves out. This is your thought process is being in the right um, frame of mind and you are able to then put everything where it needs to be so that you can say, right, that is in conclusion. We are done with that. And things will start to look up and get better. That's how you are going to reconnect with you is to slowly deal with your thought processes what is your thought what is somebody else's thought cancer um, and laying those issues to rest because I kind of get that they're not problems but in your head they are problems but it's a completion card it's coming around to you and things are going to start looking up as soon as you stop doing this 100 miles an hour of the thought processes that you're going through, you're fleeting from somebody else's thoughts to your thoughts and you're getting the two completely confused is what I'm getting. But you have got a way out and you will reconnect to the true you and it will be quite magical. You've got the circle that is protecting you. Those athames are there to protect you. So don't lose sight of that. Um, you've also got the cauldron and you have got um, this little witch sitting there knowing that um, she's just had a successful um, spell and thought process and she is sitting there completely grounded um, and not, compl not completely worried like the nine has given you so you are going to go from the nine of the thames to the ten which is the conclusion of things sorting themselves out and that is how you're going to come back to you and at that point you really don't give a fuck because you know you've put the work in you've done what you need to do um, to get rid of this energy and to get yourself back into a good place now when i laid these down i chuckled because you've got two fives which makes a ten which is another conclusion but the two fives i feel is you've got the five of wands now in other decks this is conflict but i'm getting that the five of wands is the coming together of a group of people maybe five people um to sort out an issue it's to sort out something in everybody's higher good. And it may be that you are disagreeing about things, but you will come together. Even in disagreement, you will be able to come together and sort this out. And you will be laying something to rest. You've got the five of cups, which I normally see this as being a purposeful spilling out of cups. This time I don't. I see this being... This issue, whatever this is that's upsetting you, because you've got all this wonderful stuff, but whatever this issue that's upsetting you, Cancer, you've got this five coming in to work together. And even if they don't agree on everything, they will work together for the higher good. And you will be able to lay the situation to rest. And it's still going to leave you with three of the chances in the upright. Um, the spillage may be necessary to clear the decks, but I'm kind of getting it's a 10 altogether, which is a completion. It's the end of a cycle. So it could be that you, there is five people coming together um, in order to sort something out, Cancer. But on the whole, lovelies, you've got a really good... 
pathway ahead of you. You just need to let things settle. Stop spinning that wheel. Do you know what? I've just got stop trying to make a fast buck. Stop trying to make a fast buck. If you let that wheel settle and you follow one pathway, instead of being the pit and the pendulum going, oh, I need to be over there. Oh, I need to be over here. Let that pendulum settle. Let the wheel settle down. And then you'll find that you will have doors opening that will lead you to a beautiful harvest, celebrations, slow your thought processes down so you're dealing with a thought at, the, at a time. This situation, I feel that if you do all of this, this will sort itself out because you'll end up telling this energy to fuck off and mind their own business. You've got... Do you know what, for um, a water sign, my love, is you have got an awful lot of um, athames in this reading. So you could be dealing with air signs, you could be dealing with fire signs, earth signs, and yourself, obviously, you're a water sign. So, yeah. Lovelies, that's your reading. Everything's going to be okay in the long run. Um, yeah, Cancer, okay, so just be true to you. Just be true to you. Let this gathering happen, let it sort itself out. And um, yeah, lay it to rest. Whatever this burning issue is, the reason why you keep spinning this wheel you really need to bring it to a conclusion lovely you've got the nine into the ten and then you've got the two fives that makes a ten it speaks reams my lovelies it really does so have a good week i will see you in next week's reading take care for now bye bye